Alrighty. Let's see if we can't solve our way out of this. Ask about... How do I spell Seobin? Girl? Seobin, you there? She's here, but she can't answer you. She has nothing to do with this, Lightman. Let her go. On the contrary, it's important that all three of us be here. It's part of the ritual. Ask about... Tall Man. Why are you summoning the Tall Man? What possible use can he be to you? You've been experience fla experiencing flashbacks, I know. You saw Cabadon's attempt to summon Chizo, yes? I saw he failed quite drastically. He assumed our lord could be summoned with any old basic demon summoning right. But Chizo is far greater and more powerful than his rivals. He is barely nearly a god. A god of pain. It takes a great amount of magic and a much more complex ritual to summon one such as he. We do not know it, but the tall man does. He will guide us and teach us. Okay. What does the prophecy say about me? The Book of Chiso prophesied the creation of John Defoe the Wraith. It states when his body, mind, and soul are destroyed in conjunction, the bridge between the realms will be created. It also states that you are supposed to guide this process. But we can expect one or two inaccuracies in a prophecy written so long ago. Alright. I call thee from the east. Struggle. Fight. Fight. My attempts to move only made things worse. I felt a stab of pain, something snapped behind my eyes. Kick. Link. Men. Losing blood steadily. Punch! Kill Lankman! Losing blood steadily. Arms and legs unresponsive. Touch. Idle. Wasn't sure how to. I call thee from the west. pain was replaced with an ice-cold numbness that spread fast. The room was swimming before my eyes. Run! Losing blood. Escape! Kate. Get away! Get up. Oops. Get up, get up, get up. Losing blood. Oh, man. End it, Cabadath! It was becoming harder and harder to breathe. Air rattled in and out of my lungs like a buzzsaw. Yeah, I know you can't. I, re I present thee with blessed agonies. Body, mind, and soul. I present thee with the guide. Failed in his duty for thee to judge. Ask about Hi. Maybe he has some. Nope. Oh, damn, there's no way out of this. My vision was clouding up around the edges. Seems like my stubborn will was the only thing keeping me alive. Okay. Come! Come! Looks like we're in trouble. Let's die. I died. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, Lankman, your gift just died. What? He's dead? No, that's not possible! Master! Master, please, no! Trilby? Boop, boop, boop. Or eep. 
Go back, Trilby. I wonder whose voice this is. You cannot rest yet. They'd better not keep this voice a secret till the next game. Spoiler, they do. There's still work to be done. I should probably give this voice a voice, but we don't know who it is yet. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Trilby, say something. What? You're alive. Oh, God. I didn't even know if I was doing it properly. But I did it. You're alive. Where's Lankman? The tall man took him. He did something horrible to him. And then he took him away. Where's my waistcoat? Shh! Don't talk. I've already called for an ambulance. Why does your waistcoat matter? Let's get you back upstairs. Wait. See the wooden idol? Yes? Bring it with us. Wrap it tightly in clothes and bring it with us. Don't let it touch your bare skin. Okay. And now it sits across from me. The reality shift has cleared up, and we were free to leave. An STP cleanup crew arrived with the ambulance. No trace of a bed or the hotel staff was found. Officially, they've been classified as unexplained disappearances. Lankman and the tall man also seem to have vanished, which does not surprise me in the least. Shobin signed the Official Secrets Act, and last I heard is staying with her parents to recuperate. Which just leaves me to write up my notes. Trilby's notes! With the idol that haunts my dreams gazing at me from across my desk. Every instinct of my being wants to burn it to ashes and grind them into the dirt, but I do not. Lankman spoke of a prophecy. The destruction of John Defoe's soul would somehow help him and his order summon their dark god. So if I destroy the idol, they win. But what else can I do? I certainly can't keep it. I know from experience it leaks malevolent influence like a broken pipe leaks water. The only other option is to hide it. But where can I hide such a thing and ensure it never again is found by human hands? We'll find out in the previous game. I shall have to think about this. Signed, Trilby. The 29th of... July, sorry, 1997. Damn. Yet another Trilby game. The fulfillment of the prophecy continues. Oh, the fulfillment of the prophecy continues. The ritual for the summoning of Chiso will go ahead. Events have been set in motion that cannot be stopped. Now the tall man and the short man. We have the blood of the guide. Now we must wait. Wait and prepare. Tall man's using him like a ventriloquist dummy. That's awesome. Alright, we made it through another Trilby game. Hello, tall man. One. At this time there came a man from the land of technology, and though his wisdom was great, his power advanced, he had the willfulness of his fellows, so he was the arrogant man. And on the eighth and twelfth day of the seventh month of the year of the arrogant man, the king gazed upon the land of technology and saw the arrogant man, who spoke thus, O king, I beseech you, for this land has become corrupt without your benevolent hand. The darkness seeks to envelop us all. I demand of you to cross the border to our lands and make things right, for my power is great, I have it in my power to control even one as you. And the king was rightly amused. While the arrogant man's power was indeed great, the king's power was greater still. And the king said, I will not submit myself, for firstly my power is greater than yours, and not yours to command. Secondly, while my capabilities are many, it is impossible for me to enter the land of technology, for the border is a dark and treacherous ocean I cannot will away. But I will do this for you, O oh arrogant man. For all the bigness of your head, you are still small enough to be spared the rigors of the dark ocean. I shall rescue you from the dark land, darkness in the land of technology, and you shall live in my household, where you will learn humility. And as the king said, it was so. And the arrogant man crossed the ocean to the house of the king, where he was brought before his majesty, who said, now you must repay me for the slight your arrogance has caused. For despite your insult, I love you as I love every man and beast, and you must learn to take this love into your heart. And we knew the name of the king, and that name was Pain. And the king took the body and soul and mind of the, arro or body and mind of the arrogant man and separated from his soul and placed in a great tree in the land of technology. With this he announced, Now you are the tree, and the tree is you. The wood is your soul, and with the gift of separation, your body will not wither or die through your lessons. Should any man interfere with the tree that is your soul on the day that is mine, I shall lend you the power to confront them and strike them down with fitting vengeance. And he touched the arrogant man and filled his heart with warming love, and the arrogant man became the prince, and he knew the name of the king. The prince and the court of the king bowed down and wept and sang great praise in the name of the king, for great and generous was his wisdom. 
from the Book of Shizou, Book of the Prince, Chapter 2. Man. Wow. Is there more? Ah, I guess there's not more. Man, Trilby does not look happy about being stabbed. That is one cranky Trilby. Cranky Trilby. Alright, thank you for watching. We've got one more game in the Shizou Mythos to go. Bit of a doozy coming up. Aww. There's the professor staring at his porcelain head. Yay! All over with! I wonder if we'll get a close-up of... Damn it! somebody told me how to pronounce that. An Irish person told me how to pronounce that. I won't say his name because I don't have his permission to, you know, name drop him. But the thing is, he told me. And there's Siobhan. Sibian. No, Sibian, that's something else. Every special thanks to blah 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 and everyone who demanded another Trilby game. But yeah, the story wasn't done. So if I demand another Trilby game now, does that mean we'll get a fifth one? Fully Ramblematic Production. Thank you for watching, one and all. I will be back with more soon. Bye-bye.